Anthony, back with a YouTube video. I think it's out by the title. I'm here to talk about Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, the multiplayer trailer came out, uh, well, about 6, 6 p.m. UK time yesterday. Now, I was streaming, obviously, when it came out, so I watched, I watched it after the stream. I'm not going to lie, it looks incredible. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the maps. At launch, there's going to be 20 maps. That's just unbelievable. That's never happened to Call of Duty, I don't think, before. So it's going to be 20 maps. Uh, 16 are going to be 6 feet 6. 16. That's incredible. So Call of Duty have actually listened to us, so thank you for that. Absolutely amazing. Now, it's also been announced as well that two of the maps are from Call of Duty World at War. I think it's Castle and Dome, which are both... I, I, I love Dome especially, because it's quite, Dome is quite small. Um, you have like an indoor, like an outdoor. Um, Castle, that's also an OG map. So I'm looking forward to them already. Castle, that, that'll bring back memories, playing Castle and Dome. Now, I, hear people in the, I see people in the comments yesterday, uh, do you like, well, obviously, when the post stuff, saying, don't get me wrong, I'm against, well, somehow, like, you know, a little bit of it. I will keep on remaking maps and recycling content. Now, listen to me. If they didn't write, so for example, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, if Nuketown wasn't there, if Hijacked wasn't there, not Hijacked, yeah, Hijacked, if um, Express wasn't there, let's be honest, nobody would be playing the game as much. The reason why they're bringing back these OG maps is for players like us who've played Call of Duty since day one. The one is to, like, re, you know, go back to memory lane, basically. Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I I don't hate recycle maps. I like recycle maps. But what I'm trying to say is, try create new ones at the same time. So bring the old ones back, but create new ones at the same time. Um, but let's be honest. If Call of Duty didn't bring back the old maps, nobody would barely play the games. Because the, the maps that are being created at the moment, some, some of them, not all of them, they're not that good. Let's be honest. I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War... Apart from, like, uh, the old maps that they've brought back. Most of the maps aren't, like, a 10 out of 10 maps. Let's be honest, they're not. So, the fact that they're still bringing back all maps from the old games is a good thing. It really is. Um, they bring, the fact they bring back Cold War, uh, World at War maps, that's, even, that, that's, that's incredible. I mean, it's going to bring back so many memories, especially being on Dome. I used to play Dome all the time on World at War. So, the gameplay. The gameplay looks smooth as hell. Um, it's in the Modern Warfare engine. So it's a lot smoother, you can run into stuff, you can break stuff, all that good stuff. So the game overall looks incredible. We haven't saw zombies yet. Uh, by the way, at the end of the trailer, it did say, well, it did show you a glimpse of the Warzone map, the new Warzone map. Now, I'm guessing the new Warzone map will be coming out uh, this year, when, when Call of Duty um, fan card drops. So that's something to look forward to. So, guys, I'm excited. Um, we haven't even saw Call of Duty zombies yet as well. So... <laughs> When the game releases, we're going to get 16 maps, well, 20 maps, zombies, and a new Warzone map. And on the Warzone map, there's going to be an anti-cheat. So things are looking really, really good. The problem I've got up to now, the only problem I've got is, is these new maps that they're bringing out. Like, obviously, they, let's just hope and pray they're good. Let's just hope. Um, I, I, I've got a good feeling they're going to be, um, but we'll just see how it goes. So, yeah. If you like the video, guys, please give it a like. I'm looking forward to Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I was a bit thinking when I heard it was in World War 2. But it looks good. It looks, And the campaign looks amazing as well. So if you give the video a like, please, guys, it means the world to me. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you in the next video.